Hello, John Dilworth here, and I am very pleased that I have completed my first scene, scene 58 in harmony, and uh, voila, success. And what more could we ask for <laughs> when endeavoring to uh, learn something new and different? And uh, I'm very pleased with the results. And I want to thank you all for your encouragement and support during this process especially to a Christian who made uh, attaining harmony possible, as well as all that technical assistance. So thank you. Thank you all. So this is just the beginning. Now uh, I expect my, my authority <laughs> to increase with the confidence of um, navigating this software. And um, there's still so much more to learn and and to and to organize in this world this this world here so it's a it's a great it's great news and it should be encouragement for all all of us trying to uh, to create uh, and build worlds that are satisfying and it's it's a tribute to us to to feel fulfilled in life. Um, and this is quite a blast for me. Some very interesting things, uh, just in terms of, let's say, let's try to be useful. And uh, just plotting a, a shot like this, it's got three characters and very quick action. And um, I focused on Jules first. Jules is the primary interest here because what happens to her um, then indicates what Jim does. Well, of course, he has to initiate some things, like the love dart puts her, his lady to sleep, or quiets her howling down. And, <laughs> and did you notice that I didn't want... <laughs> the little tongue. I didn't want Jules to completely go blank. Uh, so I just, <laughs> I just gave her a little... T it just came out. It's just some of these things that uh, creatively... Is just starts to flow, and then another thing with Jules. Look at his Jim. Look at his legs. Uh, I just I borrowed from Richard Williams and his idea of breaking the joints. I mean, his legs go bananas. They, <laughs> it just makes me laugh. And for animators, uh, and uh, you know, and I know when we look at animation, uh, we always look for these little things. These little. <laughs> Now it just stands out, the way he moves. So I'm discovering, even in this process, because of the immediacy, the impulses uh, uh, are so quick that the information I could adjust. It, I mean, now I don't have to wait uh, to have pencil tests shot and, and all of the process that goes into that. Uh, I, could, I could make decisions rapidly, quickly. And so all of this is rough. And so, and, and Fleeky here, who um, is just a witness, but I have him alive. He is responding to what's going on, and, uh, but he's really not important. It's these two, and especially Jim. And I love that we could play with the overlapping action of his hair, keeps things alive, just a little bit more alive for something that's limited, full, well, it's limited more than full. And uh, again, it's so satisfying just to see. <laughs> and she just went, blah, blah. I have only one drawing and one in between between her laying down and the other drawing. And that was enough to make it soft. And again, you, I experiment. I, I try things and I just feel it out. I don't make... I don't condemn myself and become frustrated with my drawings. I get very frustrated with other things, like, what is this button? Bang! <laughs> and blows up. So, uh, yeah, so I couldn't be more excited and excited for sharing the process with you because I see the end now. Well, you never know. Even the best captains of a boat could steer wonderfully, but how do you see what's underneath the ocean? Unless you download a, what, uh, a sonar app, then you, you see where you're going, right? Well, until then, 
I hope you navigate without any tools, just on your own sense of who you are. Stay howling.